Okay, this is going to be a video on uh, how to do the tangent graphs um, for uh, 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 trig, okay? So <clears throat> the only difference between tangent, a couple differences, is with tangent and cotangent, your interval, okay, all right, you're going to, when you do the chart, you go by pi over 4, okay? So when you want to figure that out, you have to divide by the number in front of x, okay? All right, the also, and we'll get into this, is the period of tangent is one pi divided by the number in front of x. So when you're doing uh, the, the, the chart, what you have to do is we're gonna go this way uh, for a period, and then we're gonna go the other way, okay? So we're only gonna go two pi actually here, all right? So what this would look like from a tangent standpoint, I'd be at zero. Now remember, tangent is sine over cosine, right? So zero divided by one, that'd be zero. At pi over four, that result will be one, okay? At pi over two, that's sine over cosine, that's going to be undefined, okay? At three pi over four, that's going to be negative one, okay? And then at pi, Okay, it's sine over cosine, so zero over one, which is zero. Now you go the other way, negative pi over four, what's that one? That's down here. Uh, <clears throat> tangent would also be negative, so that's gonna be ne uh, negative one. Uh, negative pi over two, okay? Uh, sine over cosine is undefined. Then I jump over here to uh, negative three pi over four, which is this one, which remember in this quadrant, tangent and cotangent is positive, that's one, and then I'm back up to negative pi, and that's going to be zero, okay? So that's how you make that one, all right? Now, you got to remember, that's with tangent. With cotangent, everything's flipped. Now, that's not going to change these ones, but basically what it does is it changes the undefined to zeros and the zeros to undefined, okay? So let's do a little chart with tangent, all right? All right, so we're, uh, we're zero, okay? All right, we're at pi over four, which is one, pi over two, which is undefined. We're at three pi over four, which is uh, negative one, and we're at pi, which is uh, zero, okay? Then we go the other way, that's gonna be negative pi over four, which would be negative one. We got negative pi over two, um, which that's going to be uh, undefined. Negative three pi over four, which is gonna be one, and uh, negative pi, which would be zero, okay? All right, <clears throat> now we're just gonna do one that's really easy. All right, so I would solve the inside, that's gonna be pi, okay? All right, to do the intervals, it's gonna be one-fourth divided by the number in front of x, which is one, which is one-fourth, okay? So I add, so that's, uh, uh, that's one plus one-fourth, or uh, as a common denominator, that would be four over four, so five-fourths, uh, six fourths, which is three halves, seven fourths, eight fourths, which is two pi. Okay, uh, subtracting one would be uh, three fourths, two fourths, which is uh, pi over two, uh, one fourth, and zero. Okay, now nothing's going to happen to the values there, right? I just want to do a simple one here. So I'm going from zero to two pi. So just like before, all right, got one pi, I got quarters, so I gotta start with halves. And then I wanna cut those down to quarters. Okay, so at zero, I'm at zero. Okay, at one fourth, I'm at one. At one half, I'm undefined. Three fourths of a negative one. At one pi, I'm at zero. Okay, at five fourths, I'm at one. At three halves, I'm undefined. At seven sixths or seven fourths of a negative one. Okay, and then uh, uh, two of a zero. Now, once you look at this graph, this one, you can see what the graph looks like. It's here, it goes through this point. Almost looks like the cube function, okay? Now, as you can see, we're missing, looks like we're missing a couple of points. 
Well, if we're going by fourths, okay, all right, well, right here at negative one fourth, I'm gonna be at negative one, and then over here, I'm gonna be undefined. So you can go ahead and make those extra ones. The same thing here, I'm gonna have an extra here, and I would be undefined over here, okay? But making those first couple, it's gonna be able to set you up, okay? So you could just you just know that, that it's gonna be three dots that way, and, 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 and make that next one. But this, this is good enough for that, for the chart, okay? <clears throat> now for cotangent, Slightly different, okay, I got zero, I got pi over four, I got uh, uh, pi over two, three-fourths pi, pi, negative pi over four, uh, negative pi over two, uh, negative three-fourths pi, negative pi, okay? Now, at zero, the other one was zero, this is gonna be undefined, this is gonna be one, okay? This is gonna be zero, okay? Because at this point, all right, Okay, that's uh, zero, one. Remember, cos cotangent is cosine over sine, okay? So uh, zero over one, which is zero, okay? That's gonna be negative one, okay? And that's gonna be undefined, okay? So you can just use your little chart and understand that cotangent is that. Then drop it down, it's gonna be negative one, okay? It's gonna be zero, it's gonna be one, it's gonna be undefined, okay? All right, so that's how I would set up the chart for cotangent, okay? Now, all right, how would this work? I want to solve the inside. So nothing's changing here. That's 2x equals negative pi, x equals negative pi over 2. So I replace 0 with negative pi over 2, okay? Now, with my interval, this is where the change comes. I've got 1 fourth, okay, divided by the number that's in front of x, which is 2. So that's 1 fourth times 1 half. So I'm going to be adding 1 eighth all those okay so that's negative one half plus one eighth so that's negative four eighths plus an eighth which would be uh, negative three eighths plus an eighth would be a negative two eighths or negative pi over four uh, negative one eighth zero then it go the other way I subtract eight that's negative five eighths negative six eighths which is negative three fourths uh, negative seven eighths then actually that's negative five. It's gonna be in the same spot, okay? All right, once again, nothing's gonna happen with the values here, so we can take a look at this. So I got all negatives here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go this way with this chart. So I'm at zero. I got eights, and I go all the way out to one, so I'm just gonna go negative one pi, negative pi over two. I gotta cut it in quarters. Negative one quarter, negative three quarters, and then I'm gonna cut it in eights. Negative one eighth, negative three, negative five, negative seven, okay? At negative pi, I'm undefined. At negative seven eighths, I'm at one. At negative three fourths, I'm at zero. At negative five eighths, I'm at negative one. At negative pi over two, I'm undefined. At negative three eighths, I'm at one. At negative pi over four, I'm at zero, okay? At negative one eighth, I'm at negative one. This, I'm at zero. So it looks a little bit different. Now the curve goes this way. Okay, you gotta follow your dots there. <clears throat> All right, so let's get into another tangent one. Just gonna fill these in. Okay, so as a reminder, sine over cosine is gonna be zero, one, undefined, uh, negative one, um, zero. Going the other way would be negative one, uh, zero, uh, one. I'm sorry, this one's gonna be undefined. That's gonna be zero, okay? So what's gonna happen with, um, I'm gonna set this equal, Zero, so that's going to be uh, 2x equals pi, or x equals uh, 1 half pi. So I'm going to replace that. i got to take my interval, which is 1 fourth, divided by the number that's in front of x, which is, which is 2, which turns into 1 fourth times uh, 1 half, which would be 1 eighth. So I'm going to add 1 eighth. So 1 half plus an eighth. Well, that's uh, 4 eighths plus an eighth would be 5 eighths. 
six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths. Going the other way, subtracting that would be three eighths, one fourth, um, uh, one eighth, zero. Okay. Now what's going to happen with the values here? Times three. So the, that's going to be three, still zero. Okay, negative three, still zero. Three, negative three, still zero. Okay, I'm going from zero to one. But I got to get the eighth, so. So I'm going to go halves, quarters, eighths. Okay, so it's zero, but zero. I'm gonna make this line just a little bit longer so we can continue our graph needed. Zero and zero, one eighth and a three. Okay, one fourth of undefined, three eighths and a negative three, a one half of zero, a five eighths of a three, three fourths of a be undefined, seven eighths of a be a negative three, and one pi of a be at zero, okay? So what's gonna to have to happen here? I'm gonna have a dot with this. I'm gonna have a dot with this. I just continue it all the way through. Just make sure you go through all of your points, okay? And that's your graph for tangent. Okay, I might even have a little bit one more. Okay, yeah, let's do one cotangent one. And then you guys are gonna be able to try. I think I've demonstrated enough. So you get the idea. The only difference between these graphs and the other ones are really increments of one fourth. So a cotangent, this is undefined, one, zero, negative one, undefined. Going the other way, that's negative one, uh, zero, one, undefined. Okay, so <clears throat> now what I want to do is solve the inside. So that's going to be uh, x equals negative 3 fourths. Okay, so that's going to be negative 3 fourths. Now I've got to do 1 fourth divided by the number that's in front of x, which happens to be 1. So that's going to be 1 fourth. So I'm going to add a fourth. So that's negative 2 fourths or negative a half. That's negative 1 fourth. That's 0. That's 1 fourth. That's uh, two fourths, which is a half. These are all gone. Okay, <clears throat> subtract a fourth would be, I mean, add a fourth would be, um, no, subtract a fourth would be negative pi, negative four fourths, negative five fourths, negative six fourths, negative seven fourths. Okay, now I, what I have to do with this is times two plus one, so that's gonna be three. That's going to be 1. Uh, that's going to be negative two, 2. That's going to be negative 1. It's going to still be undefined. So that's 3, 1, negative 1. Okay, that's my graph. So I'm going from probably negative 1 to a little, a little less than negative 2. So here's, here's a negative 1, negative 2, 1. i got to start with halves. Then I'm going to cut quarters here in this case. So negative one quarter, negative three, negative five, negative seven, one quarter, three quarters. You can make your graph as big as you want. That's how you cut it. Okay, negative seven quarters, I'm undefined. At negative three over two, I'm up at three. Okay, at uh, negative five quarters, I'm at one. Okay, at uh, negative one pi, I'm at negative one. Negative three quarters of undefined. At negative pi over two, I'm back up at three. At uh, negative pi over two, I'm at, uh, I did that one, negative pi over four, I'm at one. At zero, I'm at negative one. All right, I lost myself here. Oh, whoops, that should be, should be there. Okay, that should be on that one. So zero, I'm at negative one. And then pi over four of undefined. So here's what the graph looks like. Goes through just like this. Okay? All right. So you guys can go ahead.
and try those, okay? All right, go ahead and try those on your own. All right, and then we're gonna do these. We worked on stuff similar to this in the other unit too, but I just wanna keep going over these maybe more challenging fractions so we get good at them. Okay, this would be zero, one, undefined, uh, negative one, zero, uh, negative one, undefined, um, one, zero, okay? So when I solve the inside here, that's really one half pi equals zero. That's gonna be x over two equals one half pi. Cross multiply that up, that's two pi over two, which is one pi. So this is gonna get replaced with one pi. Now, since this is x over two, my, my interval, okay, all right, is one fourth divided by the number that's in front of x, which is one half, okay? That's one fourth times two over one, which would be a half, okay? So that's two over two plus one half would be three over two, four over two, five over two, six over two. Subtract what would be uh, one half, would be zero, okay? It would be negative one half, be negative two over two or negative. So I'm going from negative three pi to that. I'm gonna add two to all these. So it's gonna be two, three, one, two, three, uh, one, two, okay? So we'll go from negative pi to three pi. So I'm gonna make this just a little bit longer. One pi, two pi, three pi, uh, negative one pi, okay? Since I got some halves, I'll put the halves in, negative. <sighs> pi over two, three pi over two, five pi over two, okay? So at negative pi, I'm up at two. At uh, negative pi, I'm at three. Okay, at zero, I'm undefined. At pi over two, whoops. Pi over two, I'm at one. At one pi over two. At three pi over two, I'm at three. At two pi, I'm undefined. At five pi over two, I'm at one. At three, three pi, I'm at the two. Then obviously you can see that I got these three going in a row, so I have this with this. I also know I have this with this. So what I got is here, boom, here, Okay, all right. If you want to actually calculate it, you could keep going to figure out what those next actual points are, but you can sort of see that already with the graph. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, table with cotangent. I think you by now get the idea of this and how this is slightly different than the other graphs, but it's not much more complicated. It's basically the same process. Okay, nothing's really different here. You just gotta watch the interval because the intervals are quarter instead of halves. Okay, so in this case, what I wanna do, x over two minus pi equals zero. So that's gonna be x uh, over two equals pi. Cross multiply that, x equals two pi. That's gonna be two pi there instead. Okay, I take x over two, set it equal to one fourth. I'm gonna cross multiply that, that's gonna be x equals two-fourths or one-half, okay? So that's uh, <coughs> four over two, all right, plus one over two, which is five over two, six over two, seven over two, eight over two. Track the other way, that would be uh, three over two, two over two, which is one pi, uh, one-half, okay, and zero. Okay. I forgot to put my values in here, but I can do that real quick. This is going to be undefined. This is going to be 1. This is going to be 0. This is going to be negative 1. This is going to be undefined. Going the other way would be negative 1. It would be 0. It would be uh, 
one, it would be undefined. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to multiply by two and subtract one. So that's going to be two, it's going to be one still. It's going to be uh, negative one. Good morning, Patriot staff. I hope this announcement finds you all well on a happy Monday. If you are attending the seven steps training, as a reminder, that session will start at eight o'clock, uh, and that is in Commons 2. So again, the seven steps training for those participating is in Commons 2. We look forward to seeing you there. Okay. All right. So here's my graph. I got halves. So one half, three halves, five halves, seven halves. Okay. So at zero, I'm undefined. At um, at pi over two, I'm up at one. At pi, I'm at negative one. At three pi over two, I'm at negative three. At two pi, I'm undefined. At uh, um, 5 pi over 2, I'm at 1. Um, that's not 6 pi, that should be 3 pi, that's 6 pi over 2. 3 pi, I'm at uh, negative 1. At 7 pi over 2, I'm at negative 3. And at 4 pi, I'm on the bottom. And so here is what goes through and looks like this. Okay, and those are my graphs. Okay, you guys can go ahead and try those two. Okay, so basically what ends up happening, and I should have put this at the very beginning, is that with the tangent graph, the tangent graph is going to look like this, okay? And then the cotangent graph are just gonna look like this. So you have to have an idea of what they're going to look like, okay? That will help you understand it. We'll, in the next lesson, we'll talk about how do we take this and find all the characteristics.